Hello, Griffin. Welcome to the world the universe. Well, everything. Welcome to everything. <laughs> Thanks. It's great to be here. I've always wanted to be in everything. Yeah. This is a uh, universe sandbox. Two is it or, or squared? I guess uh, it's in early access. Just came out yesterday. Uh, is it as good? Is it as good as Universe Sandbox times itself? There was there would be no way of knowing that for me personally, but okay. it is. Uh, I mean, it's everything. It is uh, as the name describes a, uh, a a sandbox in which you can uh, just get buck wild on the okay. whole. On the whole thing, uh, can we zoom? If we zoom in too far, will we see ourselves recording this video? No, but you can actually zoom in. Let's let's take a look at Earth. This is Get a model there. of the solar system. Let's take a look at Earth. As you I'll can look see, at it. whoa! Look, wow! At, yeah, look at that big third rock from the sun. So let's slow it down. Let's slow Earth down. Yeah, it's actually for like a game of this type. It's actually a very intuitive uh, interface. Um, there's a lot of different, uh, like the, the tools that you use are actually, re oh shit. Oh God, Justin. <laughs> Not like this. Okay. Well, that's, there's just been a great disturbance. Hey, listen, don't get bent out of shape. I got another one. <laughs> okay. So let's like, let me try that again. Well, wow, man, all these hippy dippy commies talking about how we, we only have this one earth that we have to take care of. Yeah, that's pop, not a, true. pop a new bad boy open, pop the top on another one. It's actually so, uh, you can actually lower it to, I mean, you can lower the speed to whatever you want. You can speed it way, way, way the heck up if you want, um, uh, just to, to more closely model the, uh, the, the earth and all its wonders. If you want to get a better idea of how, as you can see here, now we're just kind of like doing it following that big holy shit ball but we don't want to do that we want to slow things down no we want to be able to like see anything see, you can actually see as the nighttime comes in certain areas the the lights actually uh dim you know you can see like the city lights and stuff like that oh that's pretty um, cool okay griffin imagine something you'd like to see and let me see how close i can get for you how about the opening sears to how about the opening scene to Lars von Trier's haunting, emotional drama classic, uh, Melancholia? Okay, what happens in that? Oh, a big giant super planet called Melancholia crashes into the Earth. Uh, I think I can actually do that for you. So what we're going to do down here is we're going to go down to add. And there's a ton of stuff. Pretty much there's 50,000 different, like, entities that they have uh, modeled here. Okay. Um, What's the biggest planet? Everybody knows it's, I don't know, but you can get a random gas. You really don't, hold on, stop, stop, stop. I, don't, I mean in the universe. I don't mean in the, like our solar system. I mean in the What's universe. the biggest one in our solar system? That would be a little planet I like to call Jupiter. That's right, That's okay, right. but you did have to think about that. Do you that. want it to be Jupiter? Here's what that would be like. <laughs> oh boy, yes. Okay, so is it orbiting or, oh, uh -oh. No, we don't want that. No, we do not want that. I mean, orbiting, that doesn't seem to matter, right? Because the gravitational pull of Jupiter would just pull Earth out of its orbit. Well, let's see how it goes. Okay. Uh, well, see, that's... Uh, yeah, so that is basically... That is basically that. N yeah. No kidding. Put some put some slow classical music under it. Um, put in Kirsten Dunst just, like, losing it. And that's... The, you got yourself a, a Elijah von Trier flick. So right? let, let's pop up another... Let's pop the tab on another solar system. Let's zoom in. Now that is that is pretty cool, but the the makers of this game know that you don't just want to add uh, stuff to the solar system. You want to throw it at it. So there's a launch option. Oh here. God, yes. So you could just do that instead. Our everybody loves the moon, right? <laughs> I know I do. <laughs> there's our old friend the moon. The moon never did us no harm, right? What's the moon ever done to us? Oh wait, I just threw a moon at the Earth. That's bad. That's not great. That's it not seems an like, ideal. Yeah. No. What happens to the Earth? It kind of seems like it's just and all. Then you can turn it into a first-person shooter if you want. Let's just like like just torch the Earth with moons. <laughs> it's like no problem at all. Um, the Earth seems to be holding up okay. Like it's consistency. Yeah. Uh, by and large, yes. Um, it does seem bathed in flame, which uh, not ideal. No, less than ideal. Let's pop open another solar system here. You know, Griffin, I love the summer. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the, my main problem with the summer as a season is it's just not long enough there is an, an obvious solution to that though that i'm sure you've considered what What's if we that? had two suns 
That would be pretty Wouldn't good. Wouldn't that be nice? What if we had just had two? Oh, okay. See, here's what, what I've... What the hell? Here's what I've done here. <laughs> this, is, this was a tactical... Uh, let me try that again. What did you do? I just torched all of it. Let's just... Like, this is the problem. I went too fast. <laughs> I got a ginger... Well, maybe I was still launch... Yeah, see, I didn't launch the... So we couldn't really appreciate it. Let's slow down time a little bit. Okay, perfect. And let's just gingerly launch the sun at the other sun. Now you can really take some time to appreciate. Uh, oh, this would suck so bad. Would it suck? Like, that's what I this can think of. And ah. that's the worst part. That's the part that would be the worst part. <laughs> of the parts, yeah. The worst, like, yeah, it would be, that would be rough. Um, did Earth make it? Earth did not pull through in this one. <laughs> Sorry, Earth. Maybe next time. Now, you can get, like, the objects they have in here, though, it doesn't stop there. Um, maybe you want oh, man. a black hole. Maybe that's something that you want to try to capture in our galaxy. Now, I, I just want to say this is going to be very big, very, very fast. Yes. I feel like you've chosen the absolute largest black hole. It is a very large black hole. Uh, we'll just shoot at the... Whoa. <laughs> oh, okay. here comes Mercury. Join the party. Oop. It's gone. Here comes Venus. Venus is like, wait for me. <laughs> hey, guys, what's going on in here? He's, oh shit, Venus missed. Yeah, you can see, well, it's, it's sped up by the, you know, the whole gravitational thing. Right, I think it would get sucked right right in. But The crazy we're, thing we're, about this is it seems to know what people want. Here's one of the preloaded templates you have. There's oh, there's two God. galaxies. Let's just speed this up a little bit. Here's what would f happen if two galaxies uh, crashed into each other. Because that, it would be sweet. And that would be pretty rad. Oh it'd yeah, be rad. Um, would we make two? Would we just be one big beautiful galaxy? Uh, no, it would just be a bunch of space dust. Earth, one moon, bullshit. Here's a. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit. Now this is one of the pre-made simulations they have. It does not pan out well for anybody very yeah. quickly. This is the developers like count your blessings, single moon. <laughs> Think about it. If we have one, and you could just. Like, okay, so I'm going to load the solar system. And in this basic model, we don't have a moon. So that's something we want to fix because we love the moon. It's our, our good friend, our good, good tide friend up there in the sky. So we want to, you can just do boring stuff. Let's just do, let's like try not to destroy Earth for like a second. Give us Phobos though. I hate the shape of our dumb spherical moon. You want Phobos? I can do Phobos. It's no problem. Look at Phobos. Phobos is all crazy. Phobos looks like a. I don't so know. We like got a, a Phobos in kind of a shitty orbit around Earth. Let's get another yeah. Phobos rocking. So that's okay. that's pretty good. So now we got okay. two Phobi. Maybe it's bad actually. Yeah, no, let's I... get one. Yeah, you missed the moon. Now that you said a bunch of shit about it. Now I've somehow thrown off Earth's gravitational pull. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Where did Earth go? Okay, Earth's still there. Earth's just, still rocking in the free world. It's just sort of... So the moon has, like, a crazy orbit. I think Phobos <laughs> messed it all up. Now, <laughs> the Earth is cool. Why don't we pimp our Earth? <laughs> Hell yeah! Hell yes! Hell yes! It's going to be awesome. Yeah, this planet has sucked for too long. I'm ready for it to have a... Sw I think our moons are fucking this up. I need a new, <laughs> I need a new solar system so I can just really appreciate I this. Do, I, I kind of want to see if we can take Earth on a journey out of uh, the, the sun's orbit. Oh, we'll get our, we can get Earth out of there. You can, <laughs> you can use powers to just move it. Like, you can force it out of its out of its orbit if you want. See? There oh, it is. Look at it. It's getting we're, silly. We're free! <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, son! Goodbye, you shitty Milky Way. <laughs> we're, all, we're doing our own thing. We're the Beyonce of this. We're, we're busting out of the Destiny's Child that is the solar system and just, like, getting into it. Um, let's get those sweet rings because I'm really hung up on this idea of Earth, of Earth with, uh, with sweet rings right now. Uh, so let's see. Let's add some rings like they have at Jupiter. So, it's not very good. No, nah, it's not very good. Let me slow time down a little bit. It's just really tight. There we honestly. go. Look at oh, that. Yeah. Isn't that cool? That is cool. It seems to not want to stay on there maybe a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a uh, not a great solution. Well, <laughs> uh, we'll fix that. By Earth. See, now oh, the rings shit. are free. <laughs> oh, 
Um, I want you to. I want you to send Earth on a journey. I okay. want us to go to go together to Beetlejuice. I don't know how to steer <laughs> specifically, but I can just throw another sun in the mix because I know that'll work. Uh, let's just get another sun. Uh, here we go. And let's get another sun going. And that's too close. <laughs> you don't want that. Uh, how about over here? Let's see if we could just get Earth. Oh, that's see, you liked it too wow. much. Wow. <laughs> it's like a moth drawn to play. Yeah, like that rogue sun. Oh shit, Justin, here we go. Here we go. One more again. <laughs> Messed everything up in the whole universe. Oh, no. Oh, I thought the suns were going to kiss. No. Um, so it gets pretty silly. Like, so here's Earth, and I, I you've seen me launch like a bunch of cool shit at Earth, and I think we all can really appreciate that. But like here's here's some other things I can launch at Earth. A bowling ball. Fuck you, Earth. <laughs> Suck on this bowling ball I'm shooting at you. It's just bowling balls. It's to, to, but it's to scale, right? Yes, literally to scale bowling balls. Golf balls. Here they come, Earth. Watch out. <laughs> um, pool balls, if you want that. Uh, they also have some, like, pro probes. The Phantom Zone you can put in. I haven't figured out how to how to make that actually, like, Launch that, Adam. appear yet. Wait, it looks like a picture. Yeah, it is a picture of the devs, I think, but I can't figure out how to make it, like... I'll shoot a teapot at the Earth. Take that, Earth. I think they're uh, still moving really fast. You just slow them down. There we go. Um, the teapot streaks towards the Earth, and... I, I don't know what we achieve there. Um, so, I think... Part of the problem that we've been having... <laughs> now, see... We've had a lot of problems getting to Mars lately. You know that. I know that, right? Yeah. But what what I what my what I'm presupposing is what if or what if it was closer? Wouldn't that is there? Be? Is there any way to keep those two planets from just completely ramming yeah, into? I just each set it right there, and that's gone because it's got not enough gravitational pull to keep it locked. Okay. I can actually set Mars to orbit around the Earth. That's See that I'm into. That's kind of that's kind of nice. What if I had several Marses? Well, we're getting a little crazy now. <laughs> Now it kind of looks like the Space Jam website. <laughs> I think it might be rubbing a little bit. Uh, okay, there's some... Like, that's on the other side of the Earth, though. That's not... All right, see? Oh, that's our now, side of it. Uh, that's uh, specifically where we're no. at. See it? We, this is why we can't have nice things in the solar system. Um, huh. Anything else? Anything else I could do for you, Griffin? Um... Can I want to see more of the pre prefabs because those seem like the most bonkers. Yeah, stuff. there's crazy stuff. Like here's a uh, 75 moons orbiting the Earth. Okay, so just speed this up and let's just do like a quick countdown of how. Not great. It doesn't go great. So we lasted. We lasted about five days. Yeah. Well, and see, we turn into a whole. See, that's like a whole production. Here's. What happens uh, if you put black holes right next to each other? What? Two black holes. Right next to each other. You know, I don't know, Griffin. No one knows. Uh, I'm about to know. I have to do it in our solar system or else I can't feel anything. Right, so, sure. Um, let's see. A black hole. Get a big-ass black hole right here. And then another black hole right here. Oh, they're battling for supremacy. Our sun is out. <laughs> our Wait, sun is I don't like, want any of that shit later. <laughs> no way. Catch you guys later. I'll pick up some planets on the way, maybe. <laughs> yeah, the sun's just gone. Where's the sun going? Nobody knows. To find another planet somewhere. Um. Well, maybe he could find this galaxy. I'll just throw a bunch of galaxies in. I, I've lost the scale now. The scale is gone. I have no scale. It's just It's just galaxies I'm throwing out. That's not okay. doing anybody any good. Um, let's see what else we got. We got... Uh, there's a... Chilling, I think. Whoa. Whoa. That's crazy. Um, space is crazy. Space is, like, really crazy. Here's um, a grid of planets. Bunch of known planets, just all pretty ladies all in a row. I'll throw some dumb shit in there. Well, I can throw some dumb shit. How about some probes? They're not going to see this coming. Oh, no. What happened? Oh, there's no light. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I can fix that. Hold on just one second. 
uh, I'm gonna, I want my boy, my boy Soul bow before your new king, streak towards his amazing glory. See, now they're bathed in light. They're beautiful. They are quite they love. Brilliant. Promise Good. I didn't throw the sun at them. That's gonna be your issue I right there. Yeah, I'm not, I haven't figured out quite yet with these grids if they're still like modeling a physics thing or like or because I, I guess they would have to turn some of the physics off to get them to be able to like chill like that to, and as opposed to like just ramming into each other. It's so beautiful. Yeah, well, there's no dice. Um, so there's a, this is Universe Sandbox. It's really crazy. There's like, yeah, don't throw Mars at Earth. It will not go well for anybody. Can we tell what planet we ass of? Because <laughs> like, I'm starting, I'm starting to feel a little bad about like I want you to zoom in on Mercury and throw an Earth at it. I'm gonna see how Earth do. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. Because I'm looking at Mercury right now, and I'm thinking I could totally kick your ass. Yeah, let's let's zoom in. Let's get rid of that little planet. A little that stupid ass planet. Featureless piece of shit. We're gonna launch an Earth right at it. Just right at it. Well, you missed. How did you miss? You literally, you're, you're literally throwing things at a planet. Whoa! Oh. Something, what happened? Something popped off over here. Earth. Uh, I think it's our Earth, and, and it, it's it toasted. I mean, it's toasted. There's, can we take? That? Can we beat up a moon? I, what about Pluto? Like, how? Like our, oh no! Look at this. We're just gobbling up Venuses. The, our our supreme supreme power is eating Venuses right now. Uh, can we beat a moon? Could Earth beat a moon? There's just a straight up Earth and moon. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Well, let's add um, a moon. Maybe our moon. What would happen? Well, no, we've done this. We've we always, know this. We we've know this. A, we already shot a moon at the Earth. Yeah, dude. Bad. It goes bad. It, okay. It was shit. Reset. F5. <laughs> um. Earth and moon. Earth and moon. Earth and moon. Okay, so what do you want me to shoot at it? Pluto. Pluto's littler than our moon, I think. Uh, okay. Uh, um, I... It's right there, the one that says Pluto, gray. Yeah. All right. I will try to shoot Pluto at Earth. I mean, even that goes super even bad. Even that like is like really yeah. super, super shitty like for us. It's all really bad. Like, we know we can take a teapot. Here's the weird thing about it, right? If you just set, like, you don't even need to throw, like, throwing stuff almost never works. But, like, you don't even need to throw stuff. You could just put a still, chill, like, totally chilled out earth inside of that earth. And look at that. It's, it's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> it doesn't even, like, you can feed it as many earths as you want. And it doesn't, it doesn't phase it. Like, we're not going to make it through any of that. Yeah. Well, um, I am. I this video is instilled in me a existential type of dread. Yeah. Well, I mean, just remember that. Like, think of it this way. Think about how lucky we are that things aren't like this. You know, like that. That it's <laughs> that, that a capricious Justin McElroy isn't launching. Yeah. Be, be glad I'm not pulling the fucking strings because, like, I would do some shit. I'd yeah. be like, <laughs> I'd be like, uh, like Charles Barkley. Up Can here. you orbit a million basketballs around our shooting, Earth? Shooting basketballs at the Earth. Don't shoot them. I want to orbit them. I want to. I want orbit them. Yeah, we can I do that. I want to live on B-ball Planet. Hell yeah, dude! Is that fucking rad. It's <laughs> so radical. Poor <laughs> people. I'm never saying that. Everybody, the, this, get everybody up. It's time to slam now. Everybody, listen to me say for the last time the word Earth. Because right now the planet we live on is B-Ball Planet. <laughs> we'll never ever leave. Uh, we'll, we'll never leave B-Ball Planet this, ever ever. This is the image I want to leave our viewers with: this beautiful spiraling nexus of B-Ball of, Planet of sports. <laughs> <laughs> this amazing sports planet that we formed. <laughs> it's be beautiful in its complexity. I've been Carl Sagan. <laughs> And this has been all. This has been Slam Dunk Cosmos. <laughs> this has been Slam Dunk Cosmos 2. Take it to the hole. <laughs>